this should be seven minutes. Oh, this one, two, this video. What's up? This is your boy CJ Goodfella back with the Boston Clinic. Uh, please, please subscribe so I know uh, where I stand. If you like the videos or you just, you know, want to be a part of the movement, just subscribe so I know where I can make my adjustments at and where I can get better at. And just comment also and like the video if you like what you see so I know what kind of my crowd and my audience stand. Um, I'm trying to build it up like I built the Facebook page up. Um, like THA Boxing Clinic, the Boxing Clinic on Facebook also. It's mostly appreciated. YouTube has the other feature and when you subscribe, it turns on a notification when I upload a video. Um, you can go to settings to turn that off if you subscribe and don't like it. Um, I try to really keep it between anywhere from three to five videos a week. This week, um, now I'm shooting this video Thursday before the Charles Martin, Anthony Joshua, Tim Bradley, Manny Pacquiao fight. Um, I'm really pushing for 10 videos, it looks like, in a week. Uh, that's going to be abnormal. Um, more like uh, five is where I really hit that sweet spot at, but it's a big fight week. But today I want to get into um, talk about social media. Um, not social media, talk about the media in whole and how, well, the impact that it has on boxing. Uh, the first type of media that we do uh, have is social media. Um, the YTBC movement, YouTube boxing channel, uh, channels from anywhere from the Boxing Wave to E News to T Street to Enter the Arena to us to the Boxing Clinic. Um, all those guys, a uh, hoop jab um, that cover boxing and there's raw swarm and cover the minors to the majors of fights. Um, real true boxing lovers uh, that really uh, most of us don't get a paycheck for doing this. But we love the sport of boxing. We love to spit our opinion and break news um, and just break in discussions. And this is the best form of media that you can get and the most honest and truthful uh, media that you can get. And it might be the most opinionated video of um, media that you can get and it's just an awesome movement that's really going around from guys like boxer 97 that just pump youtube and twitter uh um information out to hoop jab who who does it all youtube twitter H ytbc uh class of boxing who does it all get all these guys get good interviews and really uh grind and grind uh, we are the real media uh we get froze out uh, with boxing credentials sometimes but a major fights will these are the same guys that just go and support the smallest, smallest hole in the wall fights um, that these promoters be having and just are happy that anybody is even showing up for some of these fights. These are the guys who support those and cover those fights. And they should be the ones blessed with the going to the big fights and not getting froze out in the Manny Pacquiao Mayweather fight when their guys are who's really making the boxing world tick and tock. Then you have, in the middle, you have the, the major media, um, ESPN, the Ring Magazine, Yahoo!, uh, stuff like that. These guys who get paid to go to the fights, um, who write these biased, uh, opinion, opinionated uh, stories about some promoters because the promoter has them in the back pocket, um, but who also breaks some of the biggest news and you get some of the best stories from them edited. Um, have to worry about uh, miss spell check most of the time and are great follows. Um, guys like Kevin Loyola. Uh, I can't, I'm sorry if I butchered your name on Yahoo. Guys like um, Dan Rayfield. Some guys hate him, some guys like him, but you got to respect that he breaks big news all the time and he does some great work sometimes. Uh, he's very much hit and miss. Stevie Kim, somebody who's vastly uh, opinionated and biased, but breaks some of the biggest news and gets some of the best stories. Um, so that's just your middle media, um, your major media. And, who does an excellent, excellent job, who actually get paid by the promoters to go to Macau, China, and won't really write anything bad about Top Rank, uh, because Top Rank, there's in their back pocket, and they secretly pump out and promote Top Rank fighters, or some of them pump uh, main events fighters, some of them pump out Hayman's fighters, some of them pump Golden Boy fighters, but it's not... The rawest form that you get with social media is a little bit more polished, um, but you won't get the honest truth. It's more if you just for inside stories, um, even though you get that with the social media uh, major. But you, it's more where the casual fans really follow them. And they have the casual fans eye, and that's where they get most of their support from. Most of the social media gets the hardcore fans. Most of the casual fans are not aware of that that's going on, but. It's a pretty uh, good follow, whoever, as long as you support and support a boxing. 
Um, I know Bob Aaron was paying guys um, tickets and room and boarding um, to go watch Manny Pacquiao and Macau. Um So, you know, you know how that goes. Then we have, last but not least, the live broadcast on uh, media. The Jim Lallies, the Mike Skellermans, the Al Bernstein, the Jim Grays, Antonio Tarver, the Paul Devon Nazis, I can go on and on. Um, these guys have the biggest impact on the fight because they are the voice of the fight. That They uh, see stuff that the casual fan can't see or sometimes the hardcore fan can't see. And they have the, the, the first, first impact on a fight, um, which is very, very critical. They swing the fight either way most of the times. If you are a fan of watching the fights with the sound on, they swing the fight. Um, they can make it uh, look like Mayweather Manny Pacquiao was a close fight. They can make it like a wide fight or it wasn't a fight at all. They can make it look by their commentating and their biased opinion. HBO is known for being very, very biased. Showtime can be biased, but they're more of the honest, honest um, side of things with Paul Lamont, Najee, Al Bernstein, our respected veterans in the game now. Um, but HBO was just notorious for being biased and uh, pumping up the fighter that HBO was backing. Like, um, I remember one fight, Chris Algeria versus Ruslan Provodnikov. They made it seem like uh, Provodnikov was killing Algeria outside the first two rounds, but and I, what I was seeing, because I'm different from a lot, a lot of fans, uh, regular casual fans, I'm a hardcore fan in my opinion. I was seeing Algeri uh, putting on a boxing clinic. I thought Algeri swept a lot of those rounds after the second or third round. He was really getting beat. And uh, I think it was Jim uh, Jim Lampley uh, that was really, really um, pushing for, for Rodnikoff to win that fight. Um, I don't know if it's his lack of knowledge or if he was just, you know, a Provodnikov fan. But once you in the media and you call the fights, you have to call it right down the middle. And I think it was Andre Ward or Roy Jones on the telecast. It was in Atlantic City, I think. And he was just telling me, like, he was just telling us, like, Andre was killing him. He thought, what Andre is doing, I'm liking. He's boxing. He's doing his thing. I think Andre's winning. And that kind of reassured my mind that I wasn't really crazy. And Andre was running, uh, running that fight. But they have the biggest impact on fights. Uh, they are known for calling punches that really don't land, that's blocked, or don't even be thrown at all. And it really sways the mostly the casual opinion, the casual fan opinion, to who won the fight. Well, they said that this was happening and that was happening. And it's human nature to see when somebody says something that you automatically look for that you automatically agree, even though if your eyes don't see it. So it's crazy how, how much these... Um, the broadcasting um, media has the impact on the fight. They are the voice of the fight. They are the first one to bless the fight um, with their media uh, opinion and expert. So definitely, um, they are, are probably to have the biggest impact on the sport of boxing. Um, and sometimes they're good. Sometimes they're bad. A lot of times, HBO is hit and miss. Showtime is probably the most consistent. My favorite major broadcasting uh, commentator is... Uh, Antonio Tarver and Paula Malinazzi. I like how they call it straight down the middle and fair. But, you know, in all in all, these different medias have big impacts. Um, support all of them. Uh, these guys, some of guys get a check, some guys don't get a check, but they all are the, for the betterment of the sport of boxing. Um, but in all, media can be good, bad, or in the middle average. Um, but these guys on the YTBC is grinding. Hoop Jab, follow them. E News, follow him. Fight hype, follow them, follow them. Um, 